right? We got to have some fun in doing long division. So in this case, let's do something that is a little bit bigger. So we have 2x to the fourth plus a 6x cubed minus a 3x squared minus 3x minus 2. And we're going to divide this all by a 2x squared minus 1. Okay, so I can't divide this into each and every one of those terms because it's not a monomial. Um, I could try to look into factoring this, but this doesn't look very nice uh, factorable. It's going to be across uh, irrational numbers here and with fractions in the denominator and then factoring polynomials up to five terms in the numerator, you know, requires like, some special attention. So I probably wouldn't designate too much headspace into trying to, you know, fact, trying to simplify this by factoring. And again, too, it could have a remainder, right? So therefore, it's not even going to be factorable at all. Um, so you just always got to be cautious of that. But if you see something that's visually factorable, then feel free to go ahead and give it a shot. So let's go ahead and set up the long division algorithm and let's work through this step by step. Now, again, this is going to be a lot. Um, so we're going to do the long division on multiple steps. Okay. So that's why this is a great problem to practice through. And what I tell my students is, you know, they practice long division with maybe like a couple examples. If you, you need to do multiple of these types of examples that has multiple steps. And I'm telling you, if you just do like five to 10 of them, you're going to understand it. You're going to get it. You're going to be more confident and you're going to be able to do the simple problems much, much, much faster. Okay. So it is a step-by-step -step algorithm. Let's just go through it and, and get comfortable doing it. So again, just like in the last example, we always take our first term and we always divide that into the first term of your dividend. So 2x squared divides into a 2x to the fourth. Again, I'm just going to write it out here because students, this is like one of the common mistakes students get. What is this going to be? Oh, that's just an x squared, right? Twos divide out, x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. Now again, multiply by both terms. x squared times 2x squared is a 2x to the fourth. It's the exact same. That's what I want. x squared times negative one is a negative x. Now I don't want to put it here because those are not like terms right? So I want to make sure I put that over here. Again, could you put a 0x cubed there and a 0x and a 0? Yes, you could use your place values. But for simplicity purposes, I am just going to um, bring them down, okay? So I'm just going to put an arrow and just bring down because you're subtracting them from 0, right? It's pretty simple. That's going to go to 0, so we're good here. So I have a 6x cubed, negative 3x. Again, these negatives, they get everybody. That's a double negative, so it's a positive. So it's a um, it's a negative two X. So a negative two X, right? Because three X and then plus X is a negative two X squared. And then we have a minus a three X and minus two. Okay. That's round number one. Let's do that. Round number one. Now let's do green for round number two. How many times does two X divide into a six X cubed? So six X cubed divided by two X. Well, six divided by two is a positive three. So we have a three here. And therefore, that's going to be an x squared. Wait a minute. What did I do wrong? Do, 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 do. Should that have been a cubed? No, that's an x squared. And then, uh-oh, I did something wrong. So did I write? No, x to the fourth, 6x squared. Uh-oh, crap. What did I do here? x squared. No, it's a 2x squared. Jeez, I forgot it right there. There we go. So therefore, that's going to be a positive 3x. We're good. Now take this 3x and multiply it by both of these terms. I actually should show that with the red because that's what I did with the red. So let's just do that. Multiply by both of them. Okay, that's what I did in the previous step. All right, so when I multiply 3x times everything there, I'm going to get a 6x cubed. And that doesn't look like a 3, but there we go. And then a 3x times negative 1 is a negative 3x. And again, I don't have anything for the x squared, so I'm just going to leave it off. Okay. Subtract our rows. This is going to go to zero. So we know we're good. We're going to bring these down, bring these down. So therefore, that's a negative 2x squared. Um, that's going to give us a 0x. That's interesting, right? Negative minus a negative. That's a positive. Positive 3x or negative 3x minus a positive 3x is, or negative 3x plus a positive 3x. I guess the way you can think about it, it's just going to be 0x. So I'll leave that off. And then we can bring down our negative 2. Uh, let's leave it over there. I don't want to confuse things. Okay. Um, and there you go. So now let's get into step number three. Oh, that was number two. Let's go to step number three. Okay. Got to do it again. How many times does two X squared divide into a negative two X squared? So again, let's write it. Oh, 
terms run out of space. How many times does a negative 2x squared get divided by a 2x squared? Well, that's going to go in there negative one times, right? The x squared divide out, negative 2 divided by 2 is just going to be negative 1. So therefore, that's going to be negative 1. And now we got to multiply that times both of those terms. So negative 1 times a 2x squared is a negative 2x squared. Negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be a positive 1. So I'll align those together. And let's go ahead and subtract our rows. So when I go ahead and subtract our rows, that's going to go to 0. I can bring down this negative 3x. And negative 2 minus a 1 is going to be a negative 3. Minus a negative 3. And then now, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, what you can see is for my step number four, which I, don't know, I guess I'll use this one, I cannot divide a 2x squared into a negative 3x, right? Look at this. If I have a negative 3x, negative 3x does not evenly divide into a 2x squared, right? So we can't do it. So this is going to be what we call our remainder. So I always like to go ahead and write this as plus, and then I'll just take my remainder, which is a negative 3x minus 3. And do you remember what we do with our remainder? We take the remainder and we put it over our divisor, which in this case is a 2x squared minus 1. Now, you could factor out a negative in this case and then rewrite that as a, uh, as a subtraction problem. That is perfectly fine. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is your step-by-step -step process for long division.